We're going to start it out with a, a small video, it's short. The video is going to show you uh, some things and then I'll talk about some things and then I'm going to show you some, some uh, our, our slides. But the video is, is basically what I did is I took nine Indiana teachers to Porcupine Mountain and showed them how to do winter survival things. We trained them. They actually stayed inside of a cabin, a rustic cabin, no heat or anything like that, water or nothing like that. And the, and the, and the course, we stayed outside. But uh, so there's part of it is teaching them inside. You see the navigation and stuff was taught inside so they're, you know, they can learn a little bit better. There was a lot of outside activities as well. And so I'm going to run that, that, uh, that film, okay? What are we just about to do? We are yeah. just about ready to go down to the trailhead and pick up all the teachers that are probably wishing they were back in Indianapolis. No, not at all. It looks like they're all very, very excited and looking forward to all of this. Now, as far as us, we probably could have used a couple more hours of sleep. <laughs> Traveling north to the Porcupine Mountains, Porcupine Mountains, my superior sea. And when I reach that Porcupine Mountains, that's when I know that I'm really free. Hiking the trails of the Porcupine Mountains, Lake of the Clouds inspires me. Yeah. 
my lifetime dreams just to be able to walk in the snow and enjoy it in the woods because it's so cool just being out here where there's nothing but, but us and, and the animals and the trees and no one likes it. It's going to be a valuable program, you think, to, uh, for, for a teacher with, with something like this be valuable to bring back to the classroom and be able to teach kids in some way? Yeah. I really think this is an activity that forces you to think about training involved in. I tell my kids the first day of science class that it's not in the book, that it's going to be science and I have to be a problem solver. And in an expedition like this, we have to work with some of the other teachers, cooperative, help each other when they have problems, exactly what science is all about. So, I know a lot of teachers might put my phone on this trip, but it was crazy. But I think, uh, well, I'll think back to my kids. That's where I've lessons I've learned about teamwork and trying to you know, be part of a, of a group that has a goal in mind. That's something we're going to be able to work with the rest of this year. Because that's what I'm doing. 